then that means you can visualize the your non geo part and then geo part this is the geometry part that's why i say this is the most important applications like geo and non geo combination then you need to be every geometry and that means doesn't matter it's street geometry points py geometry or polygon geometry you need to store into the database and manipulate this database and see this visualize this this uh, this 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 information into the into the into the maps that i already i only show you already in the into my 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 screen because there's a lot of many examples for how can you integrate the, the your maps integration that's i say it in the playlist you can go there and then there's a many examples like uh, here is the main example the open layers and then a time leap example with maps and then uh, where is the angular uh, this the angular applications you can go the Mingle application that is a you can visualize all things into the maps uh, what i mean this is all the city street and city and this is the buildings and then you can see this pictures like how i mean uh, this the integration part so that means this is the geometry this means the geometry here where exactly located this geometry this is one of the complex part uh, is important really important part to store the information and uh, all the the geometrical that means all the coordinate information into the your, your backend server your database and that means into into you the backend server is capable we need to be capable to to handle the geometry process to store the geometry postgis and this is the application postgis with the extension of proposed gis that's why i can store the geometry into the database and later i can manipulate this geometry and see into the maps maybe i can use the, the bypass the geometry to see to the other other geo server like geo server or map server so we can visualize those geometry into the maps in the different applications that means you 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 store the information into the your GPOS GA database and visualize maybe the different different approach. Doesn't matter which approach you are, but your information is stored. The storage is a really important part into the into the your application that I data storage to store into the database. That's I did the difficult part. That's I say this is the geospace hibernate and hibernate state spatial extensions. So we need the geometry store to be stored into the your backend server. So here's the you know, the yeah, this is the geometry part uh, the, just like additional information like if you are embedded and this is the most part important part the geometry part just like different REST API endpoints and declarations and I already did it, the declarations all of things and then you have the geometry informations and this and then you have the user registration that we already discussed so that means in the registration part we already discussed what information we need they need the user informations and then we need the user role information and the address information address need to be geographically stored into the backend server so this is the the one of the this is one of the microservices that i said this i already exposed this microservice as the as the list uh, registrations registration api and the first release in java based and i already i already built this script to how can you independently execute those those things into the into the into the any client machines doesn't matter how many machines are into the cloud doesn't matter it's, it's build a docker or docker image or to, into the store in docker container or it doesn't matter where you are in the web container so and look, okay, I forget to the to discuss you because I here if you see the the project structure like this way, so you have this is the one of the project structure you need to be follow. This is the really really professional structure that I mean, really really professional. Uh, we did I did the like ten years development. This is the development for the beginner. It is hard, but it is the professionals. So just take care the how you you build your projects i saw many beginners they have didn't understand the properly how the project structure how it's worked how the systematic works run. even though i saw many many years they work together but they didn't clearly understand the really really project structure then if you have a really proper proper project structure your development is really really quick and really faster and this is the development is really flexible 
and other developer can understand uh, your, your your modules and uh, your project structure and they can very quickly and then they quickly understand the your source code what you did and even though if you need some support from other guy he can come to the play okay he is a really clear card definition clear modulized form they can help you that's why i said be careful be concentrate how the project structure works how you can build the project structure that's what i mean so this is your, your application projects and that's why this is basic spring boot applications so this is main methods and that's a controller this is most important the all controller definition is there so you see the controller all the controller definition that you need i will discuss later all things together but i here i just discuss what i the project structure means how they start the project on the ppr the projects so the models this is models all the your domain model or entity models or your orm models uh, and then they have a repository definition that i have it all the repositories because there is a, there is more repositories there so you see the user role user registration repository the default repository and then this paging sorting repository i will discuss this all things together with you so repository division you define all the repositories this package and models this package and then uh, and then this is the controller package uh, you see the controller package and the, this is the all the service service definition your your own definition of the services this is the, all the the definition of the your your services and this is the implementation service implementation packet like this you have the implementation package the service annotated and then you implement the services and call the your respective repositories and so on and so forth i will show you detail i will discuss every 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 modules more domain models and how can you build the the repository and how can you build the services and how can you build the rest controller and how can you expose these rest endpoints and then build this test these endpoints into the uh, endpoint into the postman so i already did the postman endpoint test i will show you later how can how can you how can you globalize that then you see the difference between what i mean here so you see that a lot of tests is really professional way build you can see the all the examples and then and then here <clears throat> you see the all the examples and and i will sh i will show you detail this one so just like initial idea what tools you need so that means you need the postman for the, the the api client testing as as a really professional way that's a tester you need to check all the endpoints is properly works doesn't matter it's good operations or other extra complex functionalities i already store is as a different way the structure way and even though i here build some some global functionalities like you define your environmental manage environmental variable globally and then you can put it here all the endpoints you see the endpoints is here and then you define your all the endpoints definitions you don't need to write everything just you just define your endpoints and after that you just call the endpoints like here and then automatically works that means your less works and systematic and professional way to do so that means when you someone some develop you you, you did your development you, you you did some test in the postman maybe 50 percent or 60 percent or 70 test cover as you have it and then you can export this uh, the test test cases into the into the other clients and even the client machines client can run uh, those those and they can share and then run those test cases into their machines and all things automatically work because you did the really professional way you said global environmental variables you said all configuration just use a need to change his 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 pc number is a local host i am here so that means i am local host and the port number 8077 and so on so forth they will just change their host name and then their port number which one and then they run the same same test cases it works automatically because that's why the global configuration they need to change every every test maybe here 31 test they need everything to type it but just they need to go there and change the applications and that's all and that's all that's all that's need to change here and then they will run the test case that's you have it in the, in the developing machines so and then okay this is the one of the registration package project that we started i started this one so let's have a close it everything and then then 
then I can go this close one, this one, and then we can go the second.